Hello world, I'm Zenit and welcome back to my lame let's hack. Now lame is a box on hack the box, so <laughs> it's not my idea that it's called lame, it's just a name. So let's just continue in here. Last time we searched for, we scanned the entire thing. We found a vulnerable service called VSFTPD with this version and there's a com backdoor command execution. Now I've gone ahead, opened Metasploit console and searched for this service. And wouldn't you know, the one that uh, we have is exactly that one. It's the, it's the V234 backdoor command execution. Now we can just copy paste this. Yeah. Uh, obviously I fail just at copy pasting it and use it. We have no payload configured, but let's show our options. Our options is the target hosts. So we have just one host. So let's set the R host to whatever our IP was. We can get it from the scan. It's this one. Okay, that's weird that this happened. Boom. Then let's show the options. Let's show the targets. We have automatic. Okay, we have that set. Let's show the payloads. Interact with established connection. All right. Now let's just run it. There is not much that we can set in this exploit. Apparently just the... Just, uh, just the R host and which port it's running and then we have to see what happens. I'm really unfamiliar with this exploit. Exploit completed, but no session was created. Let's run it again. Sometimes in Metasploit, you have to run it a couple of times before it actually works. <clears throat> it also could be that it's not really working for us right now. In the meantime, we can check out open SSH. If we can find some exploits for that one, maybe that's gonna work. but I don't see anything related to Ruby. All right, okay, so something is not working in here. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Maybe let's just take a look at the description or a tutorial for this one. Show targets, I mean, I did the show targets one, but it looks like the only targets available to us are automatic. All right, so we have automatic available and they use exploit instead of run. Maybe that's the issue I'm running in. So let's just run exploit. Now it's taking longer than before. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I I think that it's not gonna work. I, I don't think it's gonna be that easy, even though it is an easy challenge. Something, something <clears throat> is not working as it should. What's, what's the error that we get back? Well, error, exploit completed, but no session was created. Now it looks like, um, I'm not sure what the problem exactly is. Here we have other people in Hack the Box. 
why your exploit completed but no session was created. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have a reverse shell. What we have is CMD Unix Interact. Now show payloads. It looks like this is also the only compatible payload, which is pretty weird in the first place. So let's search again for VSFTP. And that's the only exploit we can find. It's a pretty old one as well, like the machine. The machine is also a pretty old one. But it doesn't look like we're getting much luck with this one. So maybe we should try something else. We have, let's search for, let's search for open SSH. Um, what version are they running? Ah, oh, come on. They are running open SSH 4.7. All right. So can we do this for 4.7 uh, Linux Ubuntu Unix? I need to use this more, huh? Okay, but there aren't many things. Regarding open SSH we have five things which don't tell me very much what's going on. It's all for Windows and to enumerate the users, which could also be helpful. We could try this one and do a bit of enumeration. Show options. <coughs> but it looks like we have to pass a username. Okay, so we have to, it's basically Hydra, but <laughs> in bed. Okay, so not exactly what I wanted. Let's exit out of here. Doesn't seem to have something working for us in there. Now we have this one and we have to just get this file I mean we could get it directly from there <clears throat> but let's take a look at the exploit what it actually does telnet okay that's uh, something different then host input the address of the vulnerable host okay we have to just pass it a Host user Nergal pass pass. Okay, Telnet host. I mean, we could try that, but it, it looks like we need to pass some credentials, which is not exactly what I want. So let's do the ftp exploit.py, paste it in here, chmod plus x, the ftp exploit.py and then run the ftp exploit.py with the IP of our host, which is this one. I'm not sure this this is gonna work. It's just opening a Telnet connection. And then trying to pass the password and username, which we don't have, so why should that work? So this doesn't look like it's gonna work. Was all the scanning and all the things for nothing? Was it all for nothing? Let's just run Python, Python 4. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, like that exists. Python free not found. Okay, what? Let's run it without arguments. Then it should say the following arguments are required. Host. Okay, yeah, we did that on the other tab. Other tab. But here it's still stuck and I have no idea why. So it looks like we have to find something else. So this FTP, it looks like it looked like a really easy low hanging fruit, but for some reason it didn't work out with either exploits. Either the MSF console didn't give us anything back as well as the the one exploit from search exploit, which is pretty weird because they are two exploits for the same thing that both don't work. So either I'm doing something completely wrong or the exploit doesn't work anymore. We'll find out in the next episode. See you then. Bye bye.